Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about how you can publish your own app in Google Play Console which means you can publish your app in the Google Play Store with the help of Google Play Console. So uh, we are going to publish our app what we developed like an audio file app. So if you don't know about this app, I will give this app's video description a link on the description. So then uh, first of all you need to go to the play.google.com slash console. So I will give this a link on the description too. So here you need to uh, sign in with your developer account. So before you sign with your developer account, it will ask you to pay money. So you need to pay for up to $25. Uh, so I have paid. So after paying, after creating your account, it will be looked like this. And this is your Google Play Console's a uh, dashboard. So I mean the all app screen. So then uh, if you want to create new app, I mean you need to publish new app. So then you need to click the create app button, which is uh, right top. So then if I create the create new app, so then you can uh, add some apps details. So app name is going to be, so here we are having the audio app, audio file converter app. So audio uh, file converter app, converter app. So then what I'm going to do next means then app, or it will ask that it is an app or game. So then I'm going to select it an app. So then uh, it's free or paid. So now I'm going to select as free. So then what else you need to do means you need to click this to check box then you need to click the create new app so then it is creating the new app for you and now we have successfully created a new project so this is our dashboard and here you can fill all of your details so but instead of going through the dashboard uh, you can go through the app content if you click the app content you can see all the to do you want to do in this project i mean the uh, this new app so first of all i'm going to start with start with the ads so and if you click the start so do you does your app contain ads like that it will ask you so no my app does not contain any ads so if you're having if your app contains ads just click the s button so then app access so then app access so my app all functionality is available without any special access so i'm going to click the save button so then what i'm going to do next mean uh, content rating so content rating i'm going to start a query so then uh, here you need to give your email address that you want to get uh, from the IRC. so i'm going to type my email address um, so then what i'm going to do next means i'm going to uh, select uh, what uh, type of my app what type is going to be in my app so my app is going to all other apps types because my app is not a game or social or any communications so then what I'm going to do next means I'm going to click create the next button. So download our apps. So it will ask you some questions. So I'm going to click uh, no here. So for me it is no here. Even for me it is no here. So even for me no here. So even here no. So even here no. Even here no. Even here no. So it's belong to your app. So then what I'm going to do next means I'm going to click the save button. So then click the next so then you can see this a uh, content rating you can uh, go through this so then i'm going to click the submit so it is submitting yes so then i'm going to click the app content so then what i'm going to do next means a uh, target audience and the content so here uh, it will ask you the age so my app age is 13 to 15 16 to 17 and 18 and over so then i'm going to uh, click the next button here so then could your store listening uh, appeal to the children's like will either uh, like that will ask you so my app is no so then i'm going to click the next button so then you need to you can go through this so then i'm going to click the save button so your changes has been saved so back to the app content so here you can see the news apps so there's your app is a news app no my app is not like a news app. so then i'm going to save it so back to the app content so here uh, COVID-19 tracking and the uh, status apps so my app is not publicly available COVID-19 contact or any tracking tracing or any status app so uh, selecting it and I'm going to save it so then app content back to the app content here first of all you need to go through this uh, privacy policy so I'm going to start the privacy policy here so you need to give your privacy policy link here so I'm having my privacy policy link. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here. So then what I'm going to do next means I'm going to click the save button. So then I'm back to the app content. Here we are having the data safety. 
so then you need to click the start button so here hey you need to go through this and then i'm going to click the next uh, so then uh, does your app collect or share any of their required user data types no uh, so then you need to click the next so then i'm going to click the same so then back to the app content so belong to the app content we have successfully added everything here so then what i'm going to do next means here we are going to this uh, store listening so main store listening so here we are having the short description long description like that and all so uh, in the short description i'm going to give like this is an app for this is an app for audio audio to sorry text to audio file converter to audio file converter okay so then what i'm going to do next means i'm going to add some descriptions here so this is an app to convert text to an audio file speech so this is my short description this is my long description so now i'm going to give this as like a long description so i mean the full description so then you are having the graphics uh, then you need to have a featured graphic in uh, graphic so then uh, you need to you can add some videos uh, here youtube video and the screenshot of your uh, app so now uh you for the app icon uh, so you need to uh, add like 512 pixels by 512 pixels so uh, then the feature graphic image also uh, you need to give like 1000 uh, not 24 pixels by 500 pixels so if video is not necessary uh, so if you want you can put it here so in the phone phone means screenshot so phone screenshots uh, means uh, you need to uh, you can put like 16 is to 9 and 9 is to or the 9 is to 60 so or as uh, which means a uh, 320 pixels and the 3840 pixels so if there's any possibilities i will show you the detailed in the next in another one of the video so if you want you can tell in the disc uh, i mean the comment so uh, at the moment i'm going to directly go to the custom uh, store listening so i don't need this because i'm not having any uh, features of my app so then custom not custom store listening so store listening settings so app or game so it is my it is one app so in the category you're going to add some uh the category of your app so mine is a text to audio file converter app so you can sell uh, you can tell this as music and audio yes so then more tags so more tags means you can select whatever tag you want so at the moment i will give audio book oh, sorry or audio recorder then i need to click the apply button here so then what i'm going to do next means i am going to give some mail id here then my phone number and my website so at the moment i don't need this i'm going to discard it everything so then what i'm going to do next means i once you are completed with the store listening settings means then you can directly jump to the uh, production part so in the production part uh, you're going to first of all go to the countries and religions so uh, add countries and religions i'm going to click this select all so add countries and religions i'm going to add 176 countries so then so it's showing the 177 countries here so then uh, once you have successfully added so it's available in every countries so then create new release so because of that you, know, you can upload your aab file you can upload your apk file or aab file but at the moment it will accept the aab dot aab file at one day. so we are going to publish our mit app inventors uh, app right so for that what you need to do means you need to click this build at the MIT app inventor and Android app bundle. So if you want to test privately in your mobile means you can click Android app dot APK. So it will download a APK, but you can't able to publish it on the Play Store. So but if you click the Android app bundle dot AAB means so then it will convert as a AAB file. So then you can't be able to test privately in your mobile, but it will be published in the Google Play console, which means Google Play Store. So it have started in the progress bar. So let's wait until it's uh, creating the file.
so now we have successfully created our .aab file now so if i click this download .aab file now so it will be downloading for you like audio app.ab so now i'm going to go to the play console back to the play console so i'm going to drag and drop into the app bundle section so it will be generating your uh, app key so then i'm going to uh, it is uploading uh, uh, audio app.ab So now it has successfully uploaded the burn app bundle file. So once you have uploaded this app bundle file, so this is it will show the release details like release name is uh, one and bracket 1.0 because it's the first version of the application and release notes. And you can do what you can do next means uh, you can uh, click the save because of that it will save for you. So then you can review the release. So it's showing me one error. Why? Because I am uh, I have not added anything in the dashboard. I mean, I have not any added any logo or any screenshot here. If you added your screenshot logo everything, so then it will not show you the error. So then you can click the start row or rollout to production. So it will go to the review and you will your app will be on the Play Store. So like this only we have published some apps like in the Play Store. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video make sure you click on the red color subscribe button and the bell icon so let's meet on the next video bye